Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 11 box off-season football mixer featuring a Joe Montana giveaway. That's pretty nice stuff. There he is. So at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names and the top name will get the Joe Cool right here. 1981 Tops PSA 8. It's pretty nice. The break itself is pretty nice as well. Very big thank you to everyone here for getting into it. So thanks again to the people who bought their spots straight up. And I appreciate the people who got into those uh, prism pack breaks to try to win spots. Congrats again to the winners. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Lucky seven times. One and a six. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh and final time. After seven, we got Will down to Adam. After seven, a couple old school Jaspie's followers here. Bulldog fan down to Woe Hockey. Let's get these guys in here. One and a six, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Saints down to the Vikings after seven. All right, Will, you got the Saints. Sean Maddock with the Dolphins. Harrison with the Cowboys. Dean with the Cardinals. Jesse with the Patriots. Mark with the Niners. Harrison with the Ravens, Matthew with the Steelers, Tim with the Washington football team, Wes with the Eagles, Tom with the Rams, Joseph with the Jags, George with the Colts, James with the Lions, Jake with the Falcons, Jeffrey with the Bengals, Matthew with my Raiders, Jeff with the Chargers, nice, Garrett with the Browns, Tim with the Packers, Nicholas with the Jets, Levi with the Bills, Martin with the Broncos, Tim with the Chiefs, Sean with the Titans, Raymond with the Texans, Matthew with the Giants, Levi with the Buccaneers, David with the Panthers, Matthew with the Bears, Martin with the Seahawks, and Adam, you got the Minnesota Vikings. Get all this on one screen, alphabetized by. Hey, where did where did my title go? This is Jaspie's 11 box off season football mixer. There we go. There you have it. I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break itself. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. Here's the uh, Joe Montana we're giving away at the end of the break. So we'll re-randomize everybody's names, name on top. We'll get Joe Montana, one of the best young signal callers in pro football. He was young back in 1981. We'll set that over here. So I'll remember to do that. We also, there's, we're only supposed to have one certified box, but in the tub where the mixer was gathered, there were three in here. So we're gonna pick one of these for the break. We'll use that die right there. So if you see on the top camera, we'll go one, two for the top box, three, four, five, six. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, the bottom box. So these two will be for some other mixer, some other mixer I would imagine. And this XR box was not in the list of boxes. So folks, this is actually a 12 box break. A bonus box right here. Let's change the title to 12. Bonus box. So if you already thought that this mixer was a good deal, well, now it's an even better deal with the extra XR box. Big thanks, everybody, here for getting into it on a Thursday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Thursday with us. So the list remains the same as you saw in the previous screen. Now, as always in these mixers, we're gonna do the uh, base heavy sort of stuff first, and then we'll work our way back to like Obsidian, the first off the lines and the, uh, and the impeccable that's sitting in the back. Speaking of impeccable football, we have impeccable football and basketball on the site right now with a couple filler breaks that we need to do. Jaspiescasebreaks.com, check it out. Um, I think we got about 30 orders to go through after I do this mixer. So I know certain things will be sold out and we'll, we'll go through orders after this and see exactly, we'll see exactly what sold out first and we'll get a good break order going. We do have late night tonight. 
So keep your orders coming early and often. And there will be a recap at the end, but I, I a lot of times I forget. So if I forget, if you don't see a recap at the end, there will most likely be a very apologetic video that says recap ahead of it. Usually I like to kind of keep it contained within the same video, but sometimes I forget. These are just retail packs here, and we're not expecting too many hits here, but we are looking for a lot of rookie card opportunities, which would be pretty huge in this, this is 2020. Most of these seem to be 2020, right? I see a couple 2019s. There's that that signature series of 2016. I think most of it looks like 2020, 2019. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. So, hey, there's Carson Wentz. He got traded to the Colts. What, is it, how, what does everyone think about that trade? I guess maybe it wasn't that shocking because everyone had connected Wentz to the Colts already. But what does everyone think about that? I think it was only two... Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was a, this year's second round pick and next year's second round pick, which could turn into a first round pick, depending on what kind of playing time snap percentages that Carson Wentz gets. I think that's it. And what, what does everyone think? I, I, I know we have some Colts fans here. What, what do the Colts fans think about about Carson Wentz? There's Tua Tungvaloa. Rookie card for Miami. That'll be for Sean Maddox. And so I guess that means Jalen Hurts is definitely is definitely going to be the guy. Well, I don't know. I also in, in a report that I was reading, it seemed to suggest that that they the Eagles may consider bringing in another another uh, quarterback just for some competition. Oh, gotcha. So McSub and Harrison are saying. It's third round pick this year. Next year is a second round pick, which becomes the first if you play 75% of the snaps or if you play 70% of the snaps and Colts make the playoffs. Sucks for your Eagles, but had to rip the Band-Aid. Yeah, we got a couple of Eagles fans in here. Jason, what do you think about Carson Wentz trade? All right. So Jason's encouraged that, that, that Wentz will, will get those snap percentages to make it turn into the higher... The higher pick. Anthony is a Colts fan. We didn't want him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's the sort of early reaction from uh, from Colts fans. Is that... But if anyone could, you know, maybe help Carson Wentz, it's got to be Frank Reich. And Frank Reich is a great coach. Ryan thinks it's a, it, it thinks it'll end up being a win-win sort of deal. It 
It's everyone's opinion. Yeah, no one likes it. Yeah. Yeah. But if you can kind of get, like, what, 2017 Carson Wentz, which is not that long ago, you can kind of get close to that. I mean, with the way that team is built, got Michael Pitt, some young, young receivers, Jonathan Taylor's out there, maybe T.Y. Hilton, you know, knocks out another season. You know, so they got a great defense. So he's a, he's got a good offensive line. The fourth best player Who? in the MLB, Freddie Freeman. Really? The fourth best player in the MLB. In all of baseball? Yeah. So I mean... I mean, no, no knock on the on the reigning NL MVP, but yeah, I don't know about fourth best player. In the like right now? Yeah, that's what they said. They said Mookie mm. Betts and uh, Trout and Degrom. Interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> Anthony would have rather had uh, Mac Jones in the draft. Yeah, he's got a de decent offensive line now. You know, I mean, they're saying maybe, yeah, maybe some upgrades in the draft somewhere there. But I think that offensive line has got to be better than the injury-riddled Eagles offensive line. Here's a nice Justin Herbert for the Chargers. That'll be for Jeff. I don't know. Let's go Let's go glass half half full, Anthony. Wentz is still pretty young, you know, so he can still still be still be fixable. I hope with Frank Reich. I think Frank Reich and him are Carson Wentz are personally like close as well. They used to. They both go to like both went to the same church or something like that in Philadelphia. They're they're close personally, so maybe all that all that will help. Let's do the prism packs now. Yeah, the money's a lot, Ryan. You're right. The money's a lot. But if you think about it, with the way quarterbacks are getting paid, you know, Wentz in a couple years, if, especially if he plays decently, if he, if he plays de I mean, he might be a bargain at that point. Monty's saying and people joke about that close connection between Reich and Wentz, but honestly, it might be, might be all you really need. Yeah, I, I don't know why it is a joke. I mean, I think it's important. It's like the relationship between a coach and a quarterback. I think has to be, you know, has to be pretty close. They're working together pretty closely, you know. But I think. I think that, that that's pretty important. But you know, peak Wentz though, Anthony. You know, when he almost was was on his way to win a win an MVP that season. If he can get kind of close to that, he threw a lot more. He's usually a pretty good protector of the of the football. Pat saying that Colts downgraded from Rivers to Wentz. I don't know if I agree with you on that. You got an older Rivers and a and a fixable Wentz. That's true. That's probably it is probably a bigger indictment of Jacob Eason though. Jeff Rossetti lives in Indy and says I can tell you a lot of people here don't get the move, but you think it's smart and could pay off. All right. The only reason why it would works is because of the Frank Reich. You know, Carson Wentz connection. T 
TK, what's going on? saying Eagles are rebuilding till those picks can help them out. They certainly can and will. I don't think they're I don't think the Eagles think they're rebuilding. That's still they I mean everyone deals with injuries, but you know, they, they had they had a lot of injuries. There's Lane Johnson right there speaking of the Eagles. A lot of injuries. You know, maybe the the coaching was just needed some freshening up. The coaching wasn't that great. But they've got pieces there. Pat's tired of hearing about offensive line issues for when Texans offensive line was poor, but Watson still had top end season. Watson's a different kind of quarterback, though. I think, right? Watson definitely moves a lot better than than Carson Wentz. Where does JJ Watt end up? Super Bowl champ Tom Brady, Buccaneers Levi, C.D. Lamb Green for Harrison and the Cowboys. What are the Cowboys going to do with Dak Prescott? There he is again. There's Carson Wentz. What's this like? This guy going to do? Chris Watson saying, Watt going to Cleveland? Cleveland, this is for you. I heard uh, I heard that J.J. Watt was talking to, to Buffalo. Yeah, Tampa, Pat saying Tampa could be in play. Pittsburgh or Green Bay seem to be the, the, the obvious choices. But outside of Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh has his brothers, of course, Green Bay, home state, you know. Those are the obvious connections, but let's see if uh, I think Buffalo, Tampa Bay could be in the mix as well. Oh, now Anthony is hoping, hoping for uh, maybe Wentz is going to be packaged up. For Dak Prescott, he'd, he'd like that. Oh, interesting. DraftKings apparently has Cleveland as the favorite to land J.J. Watt, which is not bettable in New Jersey, but but interesting. What are the what's the what's the odds? Cleveland. Oh, Chris Watson saying maybe it's it's Pittsburgh doesn't have the cap space for Watt, but aren't they like pretty much forcing Roethlisberger to like restructure the contract and be like, dude, you can't. We got to restructure this, Ben. We love you, but we got to restructure this so we can get some pieces. Yeah, got to get someone like a let's get all the Watt brothers under one roof. Another Mortal Kombat movie? Yeah, Cleveland, this is for you! Cleveland, this is for you! This is for you! JJ Watt to Cleveland, maybe? That's what some of the guys are saying in the chat. He's going to Cleveland Yeah. Playing <laughs> He's playing basketball? He's playing basketball. He'd be a... How tall is he? He's like LeBron. He's like so he, he could be like a like a small forward, power forward kind of. Just a tank. Yeah, I mean, he just had to lose lose a little bit of that that defensive end muscle. Yeah. Slims down a little bit. Woo! He gets even faster. Gets even faster. Oh J JJ Watt with the Cavs. Take Kevin Love's spot. 
could take Kevin Love's spot. There's Michael Pittman Jr. speaking of the Colts earlier. So Adam Kupperman saying Cleveland, J Cleveland Browns plus 150 as a J.J. Watt destination. That's almost, that's almost even. That's almost 50-50. Allergies are firing up a little bit. Let's get a little Claritin. This break brought to you by Claritin. So Anthony's saying all the ESPN talking heads saying Cleveland teaming up with Miles Garrett. I mean, I think that's important. I, th I think having J.J. Watt can't play every down. So maybe that does work. I mean, you can't have J.J. Watt playing every down. Just got to preserve his health, right? So you got to pick and choose your spots. You know, but that then you can if you can preserve and extend J.J. Watt's career. Well, what makes me say Cleveland isn't the spot, John? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I maybe I just didn't expect Cleveland to to go that that route. Like they, you know, just adding sort of an aging defensive line guy to a, a relatively young team. I, I would think that they would maybe continue drafting and having a younger crew of people growing together, you know. But, I mean, I, that's a bold move, though, if, if the Browns go with that. I think it kind of, I think it kind of states, you know, their intentions you know, that saying that, hey, we think we're just a couple big free agents away from getting to the next level. So yeah, maybe maybe the Browns are a lot I mean I've I've no problem with the with the Cleveland Browns. That could be a good spot for him. That could be You know, if the if if the Cleveland front office, if the Browns front office can convince JJ Watt, hey, here's what we're building, here's what we're gonna do. And if JJ Watt's into it, that's a pretty good and that's a pretty good uh, commentary on the on the state of the Cleveland Browns front office. Chris Godwin, that's to 79. So it looks like Jalen Hurts, Wesley with the Eagles, is the guy now. Got a Jordan Love. Black and white. We've got Grant Del Pitt. Speaking of the Browns, that's to 50. It'll be for Garrett and the Browns. Yeah, I think the injuries for J.J. Watt, definitely his concern. It's definitely the concern. You have to find a, a coaching staff that can, that can kind of try to rein in J.J. Watt. There's Jeremy Chin. Yeah, like Pat's saying, JJ's not gonna not gonna go to a team where he's only playing 20, 25 snaps a game. It's not it's not in his DNA. I don't know. Maybe having a guy like Miles Garrett on the other side though is enough to preserve his career. There's Trey Flowers to fifty. Trey Flowers for the Lions, going to James. We got Albert Okuebanum, rookie auto. Out of this is the no huddle, by the way, rookie auto for Martin and the Broncos, my rivals. Was Dalvin Tomlinson? 
to 79. Justin Jefferson, rookie. TJ Watt, or he can reunite with his brothers. Now Justin Jefferson going to Adam and the Vikings. Judy, Judy, Shaq Thompson, Tyler Lockett to 35, and Anthony Jennings. Right. What else do we have here? Actually, this mixer is going by, going a little bit faster than I thought. Maybe it's, maybe it's Mega Box time. Yeah, let's stay with Prism Mega Box. That's the green pulsars. Derek Billings. Doesn't look like your Broncos are going to keep Von Miller. Which team do you think he goes? That's an interesting question too. I mean, he's. I mean, he's going to command who who has money basically. I think JJ Watt, someone like him would would be like, "All right, I'll I'll take less if I'm if I if if I think I'm going to be on a championship team." You know. But with Von Miller, maybe he's thinking maybe he's thinking this is this might be my one big contract. Or I can just get another big contract, something like that. It would be interesting to see. I think they announced the salary cap mix sub. I think it's a little bit higher than it was last year. I don't think it's official yet, but according to some memos floating around, I think I read that on The Athletic or something like that. It's Matt Ryan, Green Pulsar, and Tua Tango Valoa from Miami. That'll be for Sean. There'll be a lot of quarterback movement this year. It should be pretty interesting. I mean, are the Falcons thinking, you know, maybe we have to draft someone to, to put behind Matt Ryan? He's not getting any younger. There's Gabriel Davis, Silver. Deontay Johnson, Steelers. Green Pulsar for Matthew Hedges. Gabriel Davis, Levi with Buffalo. Brian O is saying J.J. Watt going to the Steelers. 10,000%. Mm -hmm. Justin Herbert, rookie, and we've got a John o. Smith, Titans. That'll be for Sean Maddock and Tennessee. Justin Herbert going to Jeff Rossetti and the Chargers. Nice. He won that spot, got randomized to Chargers in this mixer. Gets all the Justin Herbert rookie cards. Still has a chance. At the Joe Montana. It could be a great break for you by, by the time all said and done. All right, let's go with some XR. This was the surprise box that was in the picture but not on the list. And Anthony's saying, well, Pittsburgh's over the cap, though. How, how are they going to do that? Well, see, that's why I thought that's where all the Ben Roethlisberger restructure his contract conversation is happening. I don't know. And you might be able to convince, ooh, plate on the bottom. You might be able to convince Watt to take less money to join his brothers. I guess here's another, here's an XR Justin Herbert this time. Jeff. There's Vaughn Miller. We're talking about him. He's going to end up somewhere. Someone could, Raiders could use him. <laughs> I don't know if the Raiders can afford him. There's Dak Prescott. There's uh, Devin Bush to 149. The Prescott is to 199. What will happen with him? This goes to Dallas. This goes to Harrison. The Mahomes goes to 240. Out of 249 goes to Tim and the Chiefs. All right. Behind the Trubisky is ooh, a Zach Moss one of one. One, two, three, four color patch and autograph 
for Levi Hayes and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! There you go. Levi, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. You'd be sick if Von Miller went to the Raiders? It's happened before. Right? Why am, I, why am I blanking on... This was back in the 90s or early 2000s? And I never thought that I'd see him in a Raiders uniform. There's Max Crosby. There's Alvin Kamara to 199. And there is, out of 249, a Daniel Jones. All right, there's Big Ben. And he reveals a Justin Jefferson Vortex relic, 11 out of 49. And behind Ben is Lawyer Malloy. 43 out of 49 acclaimed autographs going to Jesse and the Patriots. And there's Big Ben right here. Will he restructure? Who knows? Probably. They'll probably convince him to do that. All right. What about, yeah, let's do that certified right here. 2019 certified. Two autograph, two memorabilia per box on average. Slide this out here. This is our 12 box off season football mixer. We're gonna go through some more order. Looks like we got 40 orders after this. So we'll go through some more orders. We'll see what else. I'm sure things have sold out. We'll, uh, Go through orders and see what filled and first to fill, first to break. There is late night tonight, so don't worry about us running out of time. We got lots of time. Speaking of JJ Watt, there he is. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? There's Immortals, James Harrison to 299. That'll be for the Steelers, Matthew Hedges. Zeke, Le'Veon Bell, Will Greer. Remember this 2019? Three color patch and autograph to 299. <clears throat> Carolina, David Razor with that. Emmanuel Hall. Oh, and points. That'll be randomized. As, oh, so here's what we're going to do. At the end, I'm thinking exactly thinking of Bill Romanowski. Broncos to Raiders. So if that could happen, couldn't Von Miller? That'd be a dream, but I don't know if the Raiders can make that happen. There's uh, 81 tops, Montana. That's going to be given away at the end of the break. That's a name on top. The second name will get any and all points in the number two spot, if, if there's any more points right there. So the two spot will get all the points in one lot, if there's any more. There's Darius Geist to 199. Out of 299, new generation relic, Damian Harris. Pats, that'll be for Jesse. There's Darnell Savage Jr. 399 for the pack. It's gonna be for Tim. We got Andy Isabella, new generation relic to 199 for Dean and the Cardinals. There's Mariota. 
to 450. Still uh, Titans edition there. I think Mariota's a free agent too. I don't know if the Raiders are going to re-sign him. Or does he have one more year? I forget. All right, let's go with... we got some nice stuff here. What are we, let's go with the Singer series, a couple T-Mall boxes, Obsidian, then Certified. We'll close with that Impeccable box in the back. Well, it's going to be interesting to see. Once the league calendar turns over in March and all these deals are officially through, then we'll see what other deals have been in the mix. It's going to be a fun offseason in the NFL. So, hey, listen... We we here at Jaspies we love the football we love sports so we'll we'll talk we'll break more of this football we'll talk about all the off season moves all year long. There's Adam Gotsis for the Broncos. That'll be for Denver Martin with the Broncos. There's a Rico Gathers autograph for the Cowboys. That's going to go to Harrison with Dallas. I saw a redemption here. Yeah, there's that redemption. There's Joe Hayden for the Browns. Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. Going to Garrett with the Cleveland Browns. And the redemption, which is surely expired, but maybe Panini will hook you up with some points or something like that. Or maybe sometimes, in some cases, the actual card itself. We got Signature Series Gold. M, A, Mark, yeah, Mark, it's who, Mark what, Mark, Mark Schlereth, Mark Schlereth, who would be a e eagle, has he, is he only an eagle, Oh, Reds, he's got to be Redskins, right? Not Broncos? Oh, i got to look up the checklist now. So 2016, Donruss Signature Series Football. I think it's Broncos edition, Adam. That would make McSub very happy. Let's go 2016 Donruss Signature Series set checklist. Signature Series Gold, not Rookie. There's Signature Series Prime, Signature Series Pair, Trips, Fours, Sixes, Eights. Card 29. is Broncos edition. Although McSub is saying Panini's not doing stuff anymore. Come on. Come on, Panini. Well, maybe if you ask nicely. All right. And we got Obsidian from 2019. It changed, what, a few weeks ago? Well, maybe they'll reconsider it. All right, a couple of cards on the bottom here. We got Marshawn Lattimore. Out of 75 for the Saints. It's going to be for Will. LaShawn McCoy for the Buffalo. Behind Chris Warren is a 5 out of 5. Marshawn Lattimore, lightning strike autograph. Zap. That goes to Will. And the Saints. Out of 5. Out of 5 to under get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. What else we got here? We've got Lamar Jackson, rookie eruption relic. 
That's for Baltimore. Harrison. Out of 100. Then you got another Raven. We got and a nicer patch. Rookie Eruption. Hayden Hurst for Baltimore. There you go, Harrison. Five out of 25. And another one here is DJ Moore. 32 out of 50. Two color, dual relic, and autograph. I feel like he had a decent season last year for Carolina. David Razor. Is Carolina looking for a new quarterback? They not, not happy with uh, Teddy Bridgewater? 32 out of 50 on that one. There you go, David. And then there's the Chris Warren, the third to 100. All right. Team All? 2020 Mosaic Team All Edition, the Asia exclusive, which is about those gold wave parallels, is what you're looking for. got here all right we got Stefan Diggs Cam Chan it's behind Cam there's the gold wave right here here's a nice silver mosaic Justin Jefferson there you go Adam Copperman he's pretty good are the Vikings looking for a new quarterback there's Jalen Hurts West Thomas with the Eagles And we've got Clyde Edwards Elaire, NFL debut. All right, and behind Cam Chancellor is going to be the Gold Wave. And it's NFL debut Gold Wave A.J. Dillon for the Go Pack Go. Tim for the Packers. 12 out of 17. Nice. All right, more Asia exclusives right here. That's the red and yellow parallels here in this one. We got a rookie, CJ Henderson silver, and Deshaun Watson is your red and yellow. So CJ Henderson silver Little cat team mojo going to Joseph Barton. There's the Deshaun Watson. Where does he end up? Goff and Stafford were exchanged for each other. Carson Wentz is in in Indy now. It's one out of forty nine for uh, Houston. That's going to be for Raymond. And we got Colin Johnson and Zach Moss. All right, and we got 2020 certified first off the line. Two autographs and two memorabilia cards per box on average. It's pretty nice. I'm saying there's only six cards here. Reporter cards are all these just basically hits. What's on the bottom here? Is that a hit? Well, we can slide this out here. There's DK Metcalf. It's a pretty sharp looking sunburst pattern. Five out of ten. That's from Martin and Seattle. All right, behind AJ Brown is is fabric of the game. Patch and auto, Nikhil Harry, 2 out of 25. That'll be for the Pats, Jesse with the Patriots. And we got Damian Williams, 43 out of 52 color patch. 
for the Chiefs, Tim with KC. We've got Jalen Ragor, four color patch and autograph. Five out of 25 for the Fly Eagles Fly, Wesley. And the last one here is going to be Michael Pittman Jr., two-color patch, new generation relic, 18 out of 50 for the Blue Horseshoes, George, for the Colts. There you go, Grizzle, hello. All right, and the final box. It's going to be 2019 Impeccable Football. I think we have 2020 Impeccable Football on the site right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. No case hit. All right, let's see what we got in here. Good luck, everyone. Base card on the bottom. Yes. All right. So we've got Earl Thomas, 18 out of 50 for Baltimore. Harrison. Now behind Cam Newton is going to be Irv Smith Jr. Oh, you almost got a full autograph right here, Minnesota. Adam Kupperman. A lot of times it's just is junior. <laughs> you, you got a, you got almost a full autograph there with a number inscription, 68 out of 75. Behind Cam Newton is Devin White, 58 out of 75, rookie auto for the Super Bowl champ, Levi, for Tampa Bay. Yeah, this guy's going to turn out to be pretty good, huh? All right, behind Cam Newton. Where does Cam Newton end up? Is Sebastian Janikowski. Seabass, 3 out of 25. Who's got my Raiders? Goes to Matthew Shearer. What a great career. A few more to go. We've got more Vikings. That's Randall McDaniel. That's forty out of 48 out of 49. Pretty cool. Nice. 11 Pro Bowls. Yeah, he's pretty good. Adam with Minnesota. And back here we've got Dwayne Haskins, 64 out of 75. Two color patch autograph. I think on a low risk deal with Pittsburgh right now. This still goes to Tim and the Washington football team. But let's see if he re emerges with the Steelers this season or next. And the last one behind Cam Newton is Hake oh, I th Hakeem Butler. Rookie patch. Oh, I thought it was going to be another guy on the Cardinals. 9 out of 25, dual relic and autograph Hakeem Butler Dean with Arizona. There you go. I think piece of the helmet up there. You look at that. And there's the Cam Newton Carolina edition going to 75. Out of 75 for Carolina. David. All right. Let's uh, slide these out here and let's give away some stuff. So if you did not have a very good break, remember, you still have an opportunity to get that Joe Montana right there. And if you finish second on that list, consolation prize 400 points. So let's go back to, I don't think I have any other randomizer to do. Nice. Let's go back to this list right here. Let's grab everyone from Dean and the Cardinals down to Tim and the Washington football team. Let's copy everybody's names. Let's place them in here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a one, six times. Second name, 400 points, a little consolation prize. But the name on top gets the Joe Montana after six. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. 
five and a one, sixth and final time. Good luck, everybody. Thank you very much for getting into the break. Whether you won spots or whether you bought spots straight up, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Sorry to number two, Tom. No Joe, Montana, but 400 points going your way. And a big congrats to the winner, George Cobb. I, George, I don't think I called your number out very often in this break. He had the Colts. And you now have a 1981 Topps football, Joe Montana, PSA 8. That's on the case itself, but there you go. Nice. And there you have it. Congrats to you. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, let's do a quick recap from the last, uh, the most recent box that we did all the way to the very first box we did about 50 minutes ago. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Always keep your eye out for more fun mixers like this. Most of our mixers, all uh, most of our mixers usually have some sort of giveaway attached to it, so always look out for that. That was an out of five right there. That's an, it's the Mark Schlereth Denver edition. That plate was Zach Moss, which is pretty cool. One of one Zach Moss. Justin Herbert XR, Justin Herbert Prism, Jonu Smith Autograph, Tua Prism, Okuibanam, Jalen Hurts, Herbert, Tua, and Greenfoil Tua right here as well. There you go. That was our Jaspies 12 box off-season football mixer. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.